Today we'll go ahead with the problems of logarithm that is finding anti log. Always after first digit you should put point. So 3.656 into 10 power 1 means what? Under 3 gives you 4395. You have to use the log book and write it. Before decimal bar 3 is there, bar 3 means minus 3, take it up. Double one nine seven. You write double one nine seven. I told you always put decimal after first digit. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today we'll go ahead with the problems of logarithm, that is finding anti log. So now, using the logarithm tables, find the anti logarithm of each of the following. They wanted to find anti log using logarithm table. So you can make use of the table or sheet. Logarithm table, Clark's table. So where you have log and anti-log. So now they want you to find first problem 1.563. They want you to find anti-log of, anti-log of 1.563. How to find anti-log of this? Simple. Before decimal, whatever is present, into 10 power that you should write. Before the point, I have 1. So, 10 power 1 you should write. Antilog starts from point, uh, point zero zero. So, open antilog. So, in your clock's table, open antilog. In antilog, always antilog. So, if you see antilog, the antilog starts from point zero zero. 0 0.01 like that it goes on we need 0.56 see where 0.56 is present 0.56 is present under 0.56 under 0 0.5 of 0.56 under next digit what is next digit 3 you should see so here you know numbers 0 1 2 3 like that under 3 you should see under 3 and straight to 0.56 so, if you see 0 0.56 under 3, 0 0.56 under 3 gives you 3656. Here you have a number called 3656. So, anti log starts with 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, like that it goes on 0 0.1011. Uh, see 0 0.56. 0 0.56 under 3 you should see. You will have a number. The number in your log book will be 3656. That number you should write here. 3656. Always after first digit you should put point. So 3.656 into 10 power 1 means what? 3 point 3.656 into 10 power 1 means 10. Into 10 if you multiply it will become 36.56. This is how you can find antilog. Let me repeat. They want you to find antilog of the number 1.563. So, antilog of 1.563, before the point, whatever the number is present, take it as 10 power that number. Before, means integral part. Integral part is 1, that 1, you take it as 10 power. If you have 3 here, 10 power 3 you should take. And then, 0.56, open antilog in your clock's table, in the antilog, under 0.56, 0.56 under 3, 0.56 under 3, if you see. So, in the first column, you see 0.56 under 0, 1, 2, 3. Under 3, if you see, you will have a number that is 3656, you write the number. So, 0.56 under 3 is exactly what? 3656. So, that 3656, so you have to use log table, they are mentioning. So, you have to use it. So, now, clock's table, a log book you take and use it and you have this number. What is the number? 3656. So, write that number as it is. After the, after the first digit, only should put de decimal. Always put decimal after first digit. Then 10 power 1 means 10. Now, we multiply 10. 3.656 into 10 becomes 36.56. Next, they want anti log of 0. Point, anti log of anti log of 0. 0.643. How to find anti log? Answer is always into 10 power before decimal what you have before decimal I have 0 so into 10 power 0 you should write now in the anti log so in under anti log you have to see 0.64 after point I have 64 and 3 0.64 under 3 you should see so in the anti log so see where there is 0 0.64 0 
under you know 0 1 2 3 will be there 0 0.64 under 3 you should see so when you see 0 0.64 under 3 you will have 4 3 9 5 so here you will have 4 3 9 5 in the table you will have this digit so 0.46 under 3 if you see you will have this number what is the number 4 3 9 5 0 0.64 under 3 gives you 4395. You have to use the log book and write it. So now that is 4395. 4395. I told you after first digit you put decimal. So that is 4 point. Now into 10 power 0. All of you know 10 power 0 is what? Anything power 0 is 1. So it is just 4.395 into 1 is 4.395. Anti log of this is 4.395. Let us start with this uh, problem C. Problem C that is anti log of, they want you to find anti log of bar 3.673. How to find anti log for this? In order to find anti log for this, before decimal, we have 10 power minus 3 is there. Into 10 power bar 3 means minus 3, take minus 3 as it is. I told you before decimal, whatever is there, take it as it is. Now use the anti log table. They told to use logarithm table 0 0.67 under 3 so in the heading anti log in log table in the heading anti log c 0 0.67 under 3 after 0 0.67 you have 3 0 0.67 0 1 2 3 will be there under 3 0 0.67 under 3 if you see 0 0.67 under 3 gives you 4710 well have 4710 4, 7, 1, 0. I told you after first decimal you put a point. Now 10 power minus 3 means left shift the point 3 digits. If I left shift the point 3 digits, I will have 1, 2 zeros. So 0 0.0047. So now 0 0.004710. This is the answer. Before decimal bar 3 is there. Bar 3 means minus 3. Take it up. Then 0.67 under 3 if you see you will get a number called 4710 after first point you put decimal and then bar 3 means I should take uh, shift the decimal or otherwise bar 3 means 3, uh, three zeros are required you can put it directly. So next we have 0 .double, uh, 0 0.078 so now anti log of anti log of 0 0.078 now into 10 power before decimal what we have 0 I'll write 10 power 0 0 0.7 under 8 see in anti log in anti log you see point 0, point, point 0 0.07 after the decimal we have point 0 0.07 under 8 under 8 you should see 0.7 under 8, if you refer, it will be 1197. 1197. So, then, you say 0 0.7 under 8, right? 0 0.7 under 8 is 1197. 1197, you write 1197. I told you, always put decimal after first digit. So, I will put this. Now, 1.197 into Anything power 0 is 1, so 1.197. Now we will go ahead with the next problem that is find the number of digits in integral part. So in order to find number of digits in integral part, again we should take the support of log table. So now they give 3 power 20. So I will take log 3 power 20. If you take log 3 power 20, it will become, see 3 power 20 means 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, 20 times you should multiply and get a number and you should see how many digits are there, which is difficult. So take log 3 power 20, all of you know log a power m. What is log a power m? Log a power m is what? m log a. So log 3 power 20 is what? 20 log 3. Now refer the log book. So refer the log table. So we have... See, now I am finding log, not anti log. How to find log? Before 3 means, I will see, 3 means can I put 3.00? So, before decimal I have 1 digit. 1 minus 1 is 0 point, characteristic. Now, 30 under 0. In the log book, 30 under 0, if you see, log starts from 10. 30 under 0 is 4771 you log. So, 0 0.4771. Now, we multiply these two. 20 into... 
ट्वेंटी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेवन सेवन वन यू फिर मल्टीप्लाई टू वन जो टू टू सेवन जो फोर्टीन टू सेवन जो फोर्टीन प्लस वन फिफ्टीन टू फोर जो एट नाइन एंड ट्वेंटी सो नाइन पॉइंट फाइव फोर टू यू गेट सो लॉग ऑफ थ्री फोर ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव फोर टू बिफोर डेसीमल बिफोर डेसीमल आई हेव नाइन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इन द कैरेक्टर नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स माइनस वन यू नो सो देर फोर फर्स्ट यू कैलकुलेट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक राइट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक is 9 or integral part is 9 they wanted to find number of digits number of digits will be one more than that therefore number of digits is 9 plus 1 characteristic value plus 1 that is 10 number of digits in integral part is 10 digits 10 digits will be present in integral part is a conclusion now Number of digits in integral part of this. So that's why to find that apply log log of one point four five six power fifteen. You know log a per m is what fifty m log a fifteen log of one point four five six. All of you know how to find log. In order to find log, first you should find characteristic. So before decimal we have one digit. Number of digit minus one is zero. So now you should see fourteen under five under six. So fourteen under five. Mean difference under six you should see. So use log table and go to the heading log. Go to the heading log. Log starts with ten. So fourteen under five you should see. Fourteen under five if you see. Fourteen under five is one six one four. Well, now one six one four here. And our mean difference six you should see. Mean difference six you should see. In fourteen if you see mean difference six. Mean difference is eighteen. Mean difference is eighteen, so this mean difference you should add to this. For one six one four, add eighteen. So eight plus four is twelve. So it will become three six one six three two. So it will become one six three two. So zero point one six three two. Now you should multiply these two. So now multiply these two, and you see what you will get here in this place. And depending on that, you can calculate. Every stage you can use log book, and also you can use calculator so that. Not do any mistakes. Here you, we got this. I hope all of you understood till this part. They want number of digits in integral part. In order to find that, take this and apply log. When you apply log, log a per m is m log a. Fifteen log one point four five six and fifteen log of one point four five six. So before decimal we have one digit. Number of digit minus one is zero. Now you see fourteen. This uh, put together fourteen under five under six. You should see when you see fourteen under five under six, you will get in fourteen under five. You see one six one four under six mean difference gives you eighteen. Always mean difference you should add. When you add, you will get one six three two. After you get one six three two, you multiply. You multiply these two. You will get two point four four eight. Now after this, before this, characteristic is what two. Characteristic is two. So therefore. Therefore, number of digits is before decimal. What we got two. Number of digits is equal to two plus one. Three. Three digits will be there in the integral part. How many digits? Three digits. So before this we got two. Next, again same. Find the number of digits in integral part. What you should do? Apply log. Log of three point five four six power twenty. You know log a power m is m log a, so 20 comes out. 20 log 3.546 it will be. And you know how to find log. So before decimal I have one digit. Number of digit minus one is zero. 35 under four under six. So again use log book. In the log book you check 35. Heading is what logarithm. So in the heading logarithms you go for 35 under four. So 35. Under four, if you check, it will be five four nine zero, five four nine zero thirty five thirty five under four, thirty five thirty five under four. If you see, it will be five four nine zero, and again you should see mean difference six. Under six, if you see mean difference is seven. Under six, if you see under six, mean difference is seven. That mean difference you should add to this. That is five four nine zero. Seven. If you add, it will become five four nine seven. So five four nine seven. Now you multiply this. 
into 2, 20 into 5, 5, 4, 9, 7, the required value, 10.994. If you multiply this, see here, what is the before decimal, what is the integral part 10? So, number of digits, number of digits is integral part plus 1. Number of digits is equal to 10 plus 1, 10 plus 1 is what? 11, 11 digits will be there in the integral part of the expansion of this. 20 times you cannot multiply. So 3.546 power 20 means 3.546 into 3.546. 20 times you should multiply. Even calculator cannot do it. So what you should do? Apply log. Then you will get this part. 10 point something. So before decimal you have 10. Number Before decimal whatever the number you get. That is integral part. Integral part plus 1 if you do. You will get the required value. So but you have to make use of what? Log table. So without log table you cannot do it. And heading itself they'll tell in the excess using the integral table. If if you if they don't allow you this, they'll give the value of this log of 3.546 directly, they'll give and substitute. So these are the kind of problems we have done. And then we have find the number of zeros between the decimal see number of zeros between the decimal point and the first significant figure. Again, apply log log of 0 0.7 power 55, it will become 55 log 0 0.7, you know if you find log it will become bar 1, 70 under 0 you see, so open the log book and uh, in the logarithm you see 70 under 0, 70 under 0 use the clock's table or log book and in the log book this is log, go to the heading logarithm, in the heading logarithm 70 under 0 you should see. So, 70 under 0 is 8451, 8451, you know, bar 1 means you should do 1 minus this and further, you know how to find log for this, further continue, it will become what, or 7 into 10 power minus 1, so now I should do this value, that is 0 0.8545 minus 1 you should do. That is the meaning of bar 1. When you multiply, subtract this, you will get the required value. Then we have to find number of digits using the same method. So I hope all of you understood till this part. Here are significant figures. Significant figures before, before significant figures, how many zeros are there is the question. So but when I apply this, now I have to simplify this. Again use calculator will get as a decimal. So, whatever the integer minus n you will get minus n plus 1 you do, you will get number of zeros. And this is the method. And here they will give log book and you can use calculator. So, no ambiguity. But method is important. Always you should apply log to get the result. I hope all of you understood how to find anti-log and how to find number of digits before decimal, how to find significant zeros. So, I will see you in my next session. Till then practice this problem. Next, we'll go ahead with some more numericals, which are two and three marks, sorry, three and five markers, where simplification using log and anti-log is required. Today I taught you how to find anti-log, focus on that and practice. Thanks for attending. Thank you.